Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to do the upside down transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. You don't have to use Premiere Pro, you can use your phone to edit, you can use any other software. My friend Javon, who I actually got this idea from, I actually did the edit on his phone. So if you have a phone, you're actually good with this tutorial. You don't need a laptop or anything. So yeah, uh, let's just get into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, if you do hit the thumbs up button, let's just get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is take out your camera or your phone, or if your phone has the camera, that's great too. So I have my iPhone right here and I'm gonna do exactly what Siobhan did. I'm gonna drop my phone, but you do not have to drop your phone. What you can do instead is you can just lower the phone or the camera into an object. So at the end, it'll be focused on an object and it'll be so zoomed in that it'll just be dark. So as long as the end of the clip has a dark ending and it's black, then you can accomplish this effect. The reason you want the end to be black is because it's gonna transition to the other clip and the other clip you want it to start as black as well because if the end of the first clip is black and the start of the second clip is black, then it'll make a very cool transition. It'll make a very clean transition. The pillow for this because I'm gonna drop my phone. So right here, I got my phone in my pillow. Uh, this is for it to land on. And if you have a phone that has slow-mo, I recommend you turn it on so you don't have to edit that in post. The reason you want slow-mo on is because the transition would be way too short if it was in normal speed. If it's slowed down, then the transition would be smoother and the transition would be longer. If it was not in slow-mo, it would be, you know, a second video, like a second clip, right? So now we're in Adobe Premiere Pro and we're gonna make the simple adjustments that will create the transition. So the first thing you wanna do is import your media. So I have it right here. I actually didn't do it in slow-mo because I wanted to show everybody how you would slow it down in a video editor. So you would want to right click and press speed and duration. Obviously it depends on what video editor you're using, but I'm using Premiere Pro right here. And you want to slow it down. So I'm gonna set the speed as maybe like 40 and I'm gonna set it as optical flow and then press okay. So as you can see here, it drops. And basically what we wanna do is we want to cut it at the point where it's very dark. So right here, we wouldn't cut it right here because I'm in it, right? You wanna cut it when it's at its darkest point. So like right here, we're gonna just trim it. And the next thing we're gonna do is towards the ending, it's not totally black. It is very dark, but it isn't totally black. So what you can do instead is like right here, you can go to the effect control panel and you can change the opacity. At the end, you would want the opacity to be to zero because that would mean it's black and it's fully dark. So at the end, you would want to set it at zero. And at the point you're at right now, you want to set it as 100. So essentially what this does is at this point, it's 100% uh, visible. And then toward the end, it gets darker and then it fades to black because it turns to zero opacity. So you can use this using keyframes, but this is an essential part. If the footage is good, you won't have to do this, but you can see what that does. To set the first keyframe, you just wanna press on the stopwatch toggle animation right here. And to set any other frames, you wanna just click right here on the circle. And yeah, that's it. So now the rest of this is very easy. You wanna just duplicate this. So you can control and copy, or you can press alt and drag. And now you have two of them. And essentially all you want to do is right click, press on speed and duration again, and then reverse the speed. So make it go in the opposite direction, obviously. So you can see here, it starts normally, right? I drop it and then it goes back. But the thing with this is this is an upside down effect because I'm still standing, you know, straight. You know, I'm still standing forward. So all you want to do is go to effects and go to flip and go to vertical flip. And then after you're done that, you're done the tutorial. So press play and then you can see what happens here. And I catch it. And this doesn't have to be with your phone. It could be with anything. As long as the beginning of the second clip is dark and the end of the first clip is dark, then you can transition through anything. The reason why I use the phone in this instance is because this effect is very popular with Musical.ly uh, videos and stuff like that. But you could do this with anything as long as the end is dark and the beginning is dark as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you did hit the thumbs up button, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.